Before I show you how to connect to a host pool or, or a Windows virtual desktop, the first thing we need to do, there is one more thing I would say we need to do is like every virtual desktop environment, whether it's Horizon View or Citrix Zen Desktop or Citrix Cloud, right? What we do when we have a pool, right? We assign we assign it to group or users or entitle them so that they can use those resources. So same thing we need to do here. What we will do, we have the pool. Just go into that, application groups. And this is a default desktop application group. Currently no user assigned to it. So I'll go to assignments. Okay. And add. And let me use AD admin anyway. And user one as well. Okay. Correct. So this gentleman and these two gentlemen, or these two users, we'll say, have this assignments under this application group. Okay. So let's go to remote desktop client. And um, and see if we can close this. And open it again. Here we go. You see? So if I click this, yep, password. So what was my password? Correct. And here we go. My WED session. It's preparing my desktop and it's give me this. Uh, it's showing me start button as well, but unfortunately it's coming like, it's not coming under the recording area scale. So I'll show you this way. So if I click, I see office applications and all. And of course, when I launch, if the user have uh, Microsoft Office 365 license, they can sign in, right? They can use even their OneDrive, see? So that's what it works. So traditionally, uh, well, not traditionally, I mean. So logically, that's how it is. You are getting a desktop. Okay, and I 
and your desktop is to be actually it's in a cloud right so if you have if your organization have um, express route to your on-prem environment where your serve application servers are hosted or you have maybe you have your application servers hosted in Azure itself in a different VNet. So all you have to do, do VNet pairing and configure appropriate firewall rules to allow these desktops uh, so that users using these desktops can use those applications which are running in your environment. In short, they can access resources what they want, right? That's the whole idea. You're just providing them uh, you're just providing them when you're providing them a desktop, you're just providing them basically a laptop, right? Or a machine. But you need to provide them resources as well along with necessary applications so they can do their job. So this is the idea, a small demo of Windows Virtual Desktop. I hope you like it. And we will test a couple of other things with time. And I will see you in another video in this series. Okay, Take it easy.